Hello, my name is Luke and today I want to show you my Star Trek collectibles. Here we have the Playmates Enterprise D 1701D Star Trek Enterprise in the film Generations it released in 1994 it comes on a stand um, it has real battle damage although it looks like a car ran over it <laughs> it has sound effects but I don't want to push them because batteries are expensive um, this is a galaxy class starship it was killed in the movie Star Trek Generations Some buttons do things This is one of my favourite ones. This is a Klingon bird of prey. It has been in many Star Trek series. This is also by Playmates. This is where it fires torpedoes. <laughs> it isn't meant to do that. Interesting fact about this model. This is Starfleet. Not Klingon. <laughs> it's a bit broken. This is Enterprise NX-01. It was main ship in the Star Trek Enterprise series. I really liked the theme tune to that one. This model was made by a company called Diamond Select. They are not very sturdy stands. If you turn it upside down it becomes a Kira class from Star Trek First Contact. It also has lights and sounds, but too noisy. This one is also Galaxy class, Playmates 1993. 1992 no tire tracks but also no stand Whoosh. 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 
This is the USS Defiant. Real action moving parts. It is main ship from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's the only Federation ship with a cloaking device. Where's it gone? Amazing. It was designed to attack the Borg. These two ships are not to scale. This is 643 meters long in Star Trek. This is not. It should be like this. This is the original Star Trek Enterprise from 1966. It is very elegant design, very simple. The model is quite nice, as you can see. also has a stand original Star Trek design it has a Sky Plus dish for cable TV My mum needs to dust more. <laughs> this is a Star Trek Katinga or Vorcher class attack cruiser. At the moment, it is cloaked. <laughs> it was featured in Star Trek The Next Generation. It has sounds as well. The batteries might need replacing. In this series, it is a darker green. Look. It cloaked. This is the Starship Star Trek Enterprise E1701. This was released for the movie First Contact in 1996 by Playmates. It has sounds as well. And Star Trek. Insignia for stand. This design is not final design of Enterprise, which was in 
Star Trek First Contact. This was made from concept art of it. So this is not the final proper Enterprise E. It is a fake, but official. This is also the Enterprise E. It is not made by Plymouth, but it is more accurate to the design of the Enterprise E, the Sovereign class. This one, however, has a secret surprise. It is a radio, but mum said batteries are expensive, so no music, but elegant design. I hope you liked my video of my Star Trek ship collection. Please like and subscribe. And if my mum allows, I will make more. Live long and poppy. Prosper. <laughs>